between 1946 and 1958, the US conducted 67 nuclear tests in the Marshall Islands. So in the 70s, the US started trying to clear up Iniwetak to make it habitable again. But the solution was, well, it was very basic. And now we've got climate change. It's starting to look seriously unstable. What the US military did was effectively dump as much of the radioactive material as they could gather, and that was particularly the scattered plutonium from some of the tests, into a large crater that had been made by one of the test detonations. And this was all on, on an island called Runit. And the strategy from the US military was to fill that crater and then cap it with an 18-inch thick concrete lid. And that's mm -hmm. what we call the Runit Dome. I mean, one of the big issues is that the bottom of the dome isn't lined. So the, the radioactive slurry that the, the military kind of pumped in just sits on top of this coral rock which is permeable and there are even some studies that suggest that the radioactive groundwater below like rises and falls with the tide because the rock is permeable and even without those problems we've got now got climate change coming along yeah and we know that rising sea levels seriously threaten low-lying island states especially if temperatures rise by more than one and a half degrees above pre-industrial levels so this all means that rising sea levels storm surges and more severe typhoons all these hallmarks of a warmer world that we're now dealing with poses a real existential threat to the dome